Hi guys, I'm Jelly Charlie Book Fanatic and welcome to my weekly reading vlog. In this vlog, I am going to tell you what I'm going to read this week. I will update you on my reading and then at the end of the week I will tell you what I read that week and what I thought about it. So let's dive straight in. This week I have five books on my TBR. Three of them I am already reading. I've almost finished. One of them I have yet to start, actually. I started Scarlet, which is the first book in the Scarlet series. I don't know how many books are in the series, but it's by AC Gogan. It's a Robin Hood retelling, and Scarlet is Robin Hood's counterpart, but Robin Hood is also a part of this book. And I'm almost finished with this. I think I still have 30 pages to go, which I will read today. And I fell in love with this book. Like, Scarlet is so much fun. And so is Robin Hood and the whole love triangle in this book. I just, I saw why it was there. I, I understood why the love triangle was there. And I really, really like this book so far. And I cannot wait to add the sequel TBR. Then the second book I started reading last week is Stars, which is the first book in the Wendy Darling series by Colleen Oakes. And there's the Peter Pan retelling. Yes, loads of retellings. Peter Pan I read two weeks ago and I liked it, but then I started reading Stars and I feel like Stars should be the original Peter Pan tale. Like it's written in so much detail and the characters have so much development and Everything is so well explained. I feel like it's a much better story than the original Peter Pan. Like, don't shoot me, but I'm enjoying this more than I was enjoying Peter Pan. And then I started last week, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, which is a mystery thriller, which is basically about 10 people who come to this island to visit someone they got an invitation from. And it's a private island, I believe, and when they get there, the host is not there, and they all get accused of one murder or multiple murders. And on that island, one of the guests is killing the other ones. Like, they're all slowly dying, and they have to figure out who is actually killing the other guests before they get killed themselves. I think I still have to go 60 pages for this, so it's not that much anymore, but I'm almost done with it and I cannot wait to finally figure out who this mystery killer is. I lied, I started four books. Fourth book I wanted to read yesterday, which is The Girl of Fire and Thorns, which is the first book in the Fire and Thorns trilo trilogy by Ray Carson. And this book, I don't know what it's about actually, but I read 50 pages of it already. And so far, as far as I know, it's about a girl called Elisa, who is a bit bigger than most in weight. And it's quite emphasized upon in this book. I like that Elisa is not the usual main character who is skinny. I think it's emphasized upon a bit too much maybe already. I know. I know she's a bit bigger than most girls, but you don't have to say that every page, every few pages. Like, please don't. Anyway, she gets carried off to the stranger who seems to be very kind and who's a lot older than her. He's married before, but he's a widower and already has a child, I believe. So I don't know how old he's supposed to be exactly, but Lisa is 16 and I honestly don't know what's going on, but I know Elisa has this goldstone inside of her and nobody has had a goldstone for a couple hundred years or something like that. So, I don't know. I will update you throughout the week what it's actually about because I have no freaking clue. Then the last book that I haven't started yet but want to start this week is Paper Things by Jennifer Richard Jacobson. Actually, I'm trying to finish the, all of these books before the end of April, which is... 1st of May is on... Oh, Sunday! To finish all of these books by then because they're all for my April reading challenge except for and then there were none so the last thing I'm I wanted to read is Paper Things which is basically about two siblings I believe who um, whose parents have died and they are homeless Ari could choose to stay with her guardian or she could be with her big brother and she chose to be with her big brother and that makes her and her big brother homeless and they are couch surfing with friends of Gage's who is Ari's brother so I hope I will like this I really do it gets it has a very high rating like 4.13 out of 5 stars with 839 ratings which is very high so I honestly can't wait I will update you throughout the week on my reading progress and I will I hope I will finish all of these books hi guys it's Friday Friday today and as you can see I'm crying <laughs> again <laughs> obviously because of a book like I'm currently reading Girl of Fire and Thorns 
and paper things. And Go Fire and Thoughts made me ball earlier. And now paper things has me crying. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mess. I'm honestly a mess. I can't deal with these books. So, how am I doing on my reading this week? I am only reading Girl, Fire and Thorns and Paper Things. I'm going to finish both of those, I think, tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to finish both of those tomorrow. And I don't know if I already told you what I did finish this week, but I finished, obviously, the other three books I was reading, which was Scarlet, and then there were None, and Stars by Colleen Oaks. So I finished three books this week, and I'm going to finish two more. And then I will have finished my April reading challenge, which is so good, because then I can start reading the books I'm really, really excited for in May, because Sunday is the 1st of May, and my May TBR has already gone up yesterday, so you can see what I'm going to read starting on Sunday. So I am so excited. Like literally so excited. I have so many good books to read and these are books I've been looking forward to rereading and reading so much. Not that I'm not excited for all the books I've been reading but those are books for challenges you know. You can't pick every single book for every single challenge. So it's kind of I pick these books at the beginning of the month and I kind of have to read them but you know it's not like I don't enjoy them. It's still books that are on my TBR but you know what I mean. These are books I've actually picked on my own instead of for a challenge. Hey guys, it's Sunday today, which means it's the 1st of May, and I should have finished all the books on my April reading challenge. And guess what? I did. I read all 10 books on my April reading challenge, and I'm so happy about that. I was also doing a quarterly challenge, and I have one book to read from that, and then I will have 10 books from my quarterly challenge as well. So I've picked out the books I want to read in May, and I said I didn't, wasn't going to do a May reading challenge, but I'm going to do that because with the books I had already picked out, which means I just added those books to my May reading challenge. I just love reading challenges. I just love picking books out for reading challenges. So I was just picking the books I had already chosen for these reading challenges. And I had to pick one more book to fill the challenge for M for May. So a book with starting with an M or an author name starting with an M. So I had to add one more book. So I have, I think, 13 books picked out for May. And I think I can do that. I definitely think I can do that. But I will tell you the books I'm going to read next week, my next vlog, because I'm not going to pick those out. But I am currently reading another book, which is Boy Meets Depression, which is a review copy I got. And I'm going to read that. I started bringing it today, and I'm going to finish that today. So I'm really happy about that. I'm already going to finish a book on the 1st of May, which is a really good thing. And I'm loving it so far. It's a memoir about a man who suffered from depression from a very young age. So he's describing his youth and how it all came to be and stuff like that. And it's very heartbreaking up until now. And it's quite short, so I think I'm, I'm going to finish that definitely today. So I am looking forward to that a lot. So that's what I'm reading currently. And that's literally all I'm reading currently. Tomorrow is the 2nd of May, isn't it? So I'm uh, then starts a read along for Aristotle and Dante's Covered Secret to the Universe, which I will link down below if you want to join in, because I would love for you to join in in the read along, because I'm going to reread Aristotle and Dante, and the read along came along at just the right time, and I would love if you would join in and read Aristotle and Dante if you've never read it before or reread it. I just, I love the book so much, and I cannot wait to reread it for the first time because I haven't read it since 2014. So it was a, a sneak peek for my reading pile for next week. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!